I've gathered some feedback from the new recruits. Training seems to be progressing satisfactorily. Right. We've really been trying to do our best. Didn't realize how hard it was to hammer things into folk, though. It's gratifying to see you acknowledge how much work I've put into it, sir. You're just a big bag of lectures, aren't you? Either that or snide remarks. <laughs> you're such a lively bunch. I can see why you're so popular. Um, leaving that aside for a moment, is the training going to continue? Ah, yes, about that. I do believe that the time to apply the finishing touches is approaching. Finishing touches? You mean...? Yes. We're going to perform large-scale maneuvers that encapsulate everything we've done so far. Yeah? Large-scale maneuvers? Now we're talking. Do you think they'll be up to scratch when we've completed these maneuvers, Teach? I'd say so. Especially if all of you are prepared to participate as well. Of course. So when do we start? Right now. Huh? Actually, to be honest with you, the preparations for the maneuvers are already complete. All we need to do now is to get everyone over to the designated location, in fact. You've got everything squared away ahead of time. Ah, oh, that's so crafty. You see, I anticipated that you'd reach the end of the exercises at around this point in time. Teach can be a touch pushy sometimes. No, I don't think so. I just have so much faith and confidence in your abilities. Well, where should we go to get started? Do you know Everblight Plain? Yeah, of course. We've even been in a dust up there, as I remember. The new recruits have already departed for the target location. They're probably there already. I'll share the full details of the maneuvers once we've rendezvoused with the rest of the forces. It's Everblight Plain. Well then, shall we set out? Everyone present and correct. Then I'll proceed with the mission briefing. Before we start, please turn your attention upward for a moment. Upward? Oh! A number of containers arranged by me for the purpose of this maneuver have just this moment made landfall. Foots, Zakir, and Kyrie. Your squads will get to the containers and recover the contents. Quick as you can. What about us? You're going to be acting as an enemy. You'll do whatever you can to prevent the recruits from performing the recovery. Huh? We'll be fighting against Mule's crew. But we'll get pumped. Oh, please. No need to make quite such a fuss about it. This is simply a training exercise. Yeah, I mean, the big boys aren't going to go full tilt at us newbies, surely. You three, listen very carefully to what I'm about to say. Whatever opponent you may face, I forbid you to belittle or think ill of them. From the moment you raise your blade against theirs, you must project every ounce of your power when you fight. In that way, you do an honor to your opponent. Honor? If you do not offer that honor to your opponent, then all that remains is the shadow of enmity. If pure power is the only prize of battle, then surely this war will never end. 
For the most sacred duty of every soldier is this, to stamp out evil at its source. Busting out the big words as usual. <laughs> That's our teach for ya. Neo and companions, do not hold back. Bring your full strength to bear on your juniors. All right, we'll do our level best to assume the role of enemy. Very well. Squads, to your positions. Wait for the designated start time. Iris communication is forbidden from this point. That is all. Disperse. It's time. We should commence with our battle plans as well. Huh? Teach? What is it? Uh, I just had the feeling I was being watched. A, a trick of the mind, perhaps. Come on! Let's get out there and grab these containers, yeah? The rookies are gonna beat us to it. Yes, indeed. We elders need to demonstrate a bit of spirit. Roger. Starting mission. Um, thanks for helping us out there, I guess. Yeah, uh, no worries. Considering we're meant to be your enemy, I'm not sure help is the right word. Even so, we couldn't just leave them to get mown down there, could we? Ha. <laughs> Chaos reigns supreme on the field of battle. Let this be a lesson to you. <sighs> huh? Aren't you guys in Kyrie squad? Yeah, that's right. So, where's Kyrie? She's not here. I guess she's gotten lost, as usual. Ah, life's compass is never set on a single course. Huh? So she wandered off again. That's our Kyrie. What should we do, Teach? Do you want us to look for her? No. Let's leave it to them. This, too, is a part of the training. Roger that. I'll track her down then. Though, to be honest, I don't fancy my chances. Zuno! Namaki! Anyone? Is anyone there? Oh, I picked a great time to get lost, didn't I? So what now? No! I can't just stay here, it's getting worse. I need to step up to the plate. Be more like Mio. <sighs> I hope Kyrie's all right. Kyrie's a stout-hearted soldier. Have faith in her. I could really use a shower now. Mind it. 
if we just yoink the stuff? Too much to hold, baby. Let's Nothing else for it. All units, retreat, double quick! Considering the state of play, they picked a good moment to withdraw. Indeed. Zakir's going to be a solid addition to the Force, thanks to your instruction. I can't take all the credit. It's down to their superb teamwork as much as anything. Yeah, we bagsied the container. Can't wait to see what we got. Shouldn't give the others a chance to regroup. Let's just swipe it and skedaddle. Ha! <laughs> it seems you're relishing your roles as the bad guys. Good casting by me. Let's get this squared away quickly. What? There's no one here. Are we the first? Huh? That sucks. What an anti-climax. Oh, well. Let's recover the container. Not so fast. Who? Oh, what? Where? Well, we're surrounded. So it seems. You thought us rookies were going to be a pushover, didn't you? Well, joke's on you now. Fork it over! We've got a full head of steam over here. And you're going to get all of it. Sorry! <laughs> Just how I like it. Come at us, mudders. Nothing like a chump with a death wish. it to us. We're gonna have to call it quits. Hey, don't think of it like that. You drew a pretty sharp line in the sand there. Right, and I'd say that means you've still got room to grow. So don't let up now. That means a lot. Well, 
Guess we'll be yoinking the container then. Unless you rookies got another round in you. No, I know when I'm beat. You sure about that? I thought you liked a bit of hard sparring, even more than strength training. You still bitter about that, Senna? Excellent. Your duty is fulfilled and admirably at that. Let's return to the original rendezvous point. Oh, that's weird. I thought it was round here. Oh, did I go off in the wrong direction again? Oh. No, I, I can't have. Everything's totally fine. Nothing to worry about. Oh. Ah! Messy soldier! What, what am I gonna do? This was a nice find! Everyone, thank you for your perseverance. In these maneuvers, you showed quality, doggedness, and grit in the pursuit of excellence. But we've got to face it. We got trashed. Hey, don't be down on yourself. You proved you got the right stuff, yeah? The amount of pressure and problems you gave us. I'd say that's pretty promising for new recruits. While the leader of each squad is present, there's something I'd like to announce. Ah, uh, I guess I'll have to stand in for Kyrie. We haven't found her yet. What? I guess we'll need to mount a proper search for her. Sheesh, she's a real test of patience, that one. Yes, Teach speaking. So, you're calling yourself Teach now? Interesting. What? Who? But that's not all that's interesting. For example, what became of that soldier of yours? The one blindly wandering around the battlefield back there. Where is she now? You... what have you done with Kyrie? You'd better not have hurt her. It's all down to you now, Teach. You better start the search for her. Seek help from your comrades then. Bring your reinforcements. It makes no difference to me. But hear this. I won't let you escape. Forgive me, but I cannot follow your meaning. You aren't making a shred of sense. A clue. Remember Kai. <sighs> Think of me as... a ghost from your past. Teach? What just happened? Is something up with Kairi? It appears that Kairi has been abducted by a mysterious party. Abducted? But who would... I don't know yet. I sense a Kavesi hand in this, or perhaps... Well, we'd better get out there and help her. No. Kyrie is my responsibility. Please lead the troops back to the colony. Hey, come on. Um, Commander, don't worry about us. We'll be okay. We may be a bunch of rookies, but I think we can get ourselves back to the colony in one piece. Commander, sir! Zuno, Foots, but... Commander, I also think that might be the best course of action. We just slow you down. But if you take Noah and the others, you've got a much better chance of finding Kyrie. Spot, guys. Understood. You're right. Take yourselves back to the colony. 
Everyone, listen up. I'm going to have to ask you to assist in the search for Kairi. We were here for that from the start, Commander. Let's find Kairi. That means we're going to have to find a way to search this vast expanse. It'll be tough. Perhaps it won't be so tough. I've already formed a broad concept of Kairi's current location. Huh? Really? Rotswoe Battlescar is the site of an ancient battlefield in the west of Everblight Plain. I surmise that Kairi is deep within that zone. How come you're so certain, Teach? Time is short. I'll explain on the way. Commander, please bring Kairi back safely. On my honor, I swear it. And you must promise to be vigilant until you've safely returned home. We have to get to Rotswo Battlescar. I must find Kyrie. Kyrie, please be okay. There's something I need to tell you about before we proceed. Is it to do with why you knew where Kairi was? That's right. You see, I have an idea that our mysterious opponent's true target is myself. So then he only snatched Kairi to get to you? Exactly. He took her as nothing more than a hostage to lure me out. Considering this angle, the pieces start to fit together. Commander, does this mean that you know the identity of our opponent here? Not for certain, but I have a hypothesis. And if that hypothesis is correct, then Kairi should be just up ahead. So, what is it then? Cause and effect. What? Something you did in the past? A colossal struggle took place on this battlefield a long time ago. Kevis and Agnes lost countless lives in that battle. In the end, both sides were annihilated. Afterwards, it was said that the ones that let loose the dogs of war were Colony Kai, that this slaughter was their doing. Remember Kai, they said. Of course. I've read the tales of that battle too. But what does that have to do with all this? We'll need to save Kairi if we're to truly untangle the whole of this intrigue. Well. Whatever the truth of the matter, one thing doesn't change. We need to save her. But if I'm right, I need to put an end to this for good. Stamp out evil at its source, or otherwise. Kairi, please be safe. I think I would return here of all places. Teach? Let me check. Kyrie! Commander Teach! Are you all right? Are you injured? You're in one piece, at least. Something to be thankful for. Yes. It looks like we've narrowly avoided the very worst outcome. But... The way you talk... 
The way you act. It's as if you're a different person. Or do my eyes deceive me? No. You knew the meaning of this place. It must be you. Are you alone? Do you have allies? Look at that, Feronis. The last bit of life burning within its flame clock is mine. This is where my friends died, slaughtered to the last, by the hand of Colony Kai's commander, the man dubbed the All Slayer. You? You're a survivor of that battle? That's right. Just like him. I can understand well what it is you want, but why act in this way? Luring you in with this little nobody, you mean? <laughs> if I hadn't taken such measures, you would have gotten away from me. Just that you'd given me the slip by changing your identity, running from the past. I know that I can never escape my past, not ever. But I chose a different path. I chose to live with the past as a burden I must bear. A wonderfully convenient use of logic. Do you suppose it will persuade the dry and dusty bones of the dead? Enough of your sophistry and lies! <sighs> this is the purpose I lived for. Why I endured the pain of being the final survivor of my people. Well, it's all about to come to an end. I will kill you as an offering to my friends! It seems you're bent on fighting me. What if there were another way? Oh, please. Enough. You dare to despise me. To look down upon me as a worm, an insect. I... I'm not the weakling you think I am. At least I don't throw away my friends like spent trash. I'll kill you. I'll kill you all. You'll see. Oh, you'll see. Teach! Be careful. That's no regular Kavesi soldier. Your death is long overdue, Oleg! Your hope, your desire is to kill me. That being so, there is no meaning in our fighting. Just do what you will now. You mean to insult me even now? Fighting a weakling like me isn't worth the effort, is that it? No, you're wrong. You don't understand at all. Then fight! Fight like you fought my allies, like you crushed the life from their bodies! Show me your true nature, your fangs! Kill me, Oleg! Crush me! <sighs> Coward! I won't stop, not until I bring the Red Mist down upon you! 
If it takes laying down this rookie's corpse to get a rise out of you, I'll do it! Hey! I'm no rookie! What? Huh? Kyrie? Huh? Hey! When's she get back up? Kyrie! If you're back on your feet, escape while you can! N no! I won't run away! I'll fight by your side with all of you! Don't be a fool! I I'm not! I'm doing what the commander told us to do! Do honour to your opponent! Fight them with every ounce of your strength! Kyrie, you're... Th that's why I why we fight! Me, you, me, oh, commander! All of us! I am a warrior of Colony Gamma! <sighs> She's right. I forgot the very thing I told my students to guard in their hearts. It was me that lacked maturity, that hadn't grasped the basic truth. Certainly your technique, it's amazing. It's only natural. You've applied yourself to discipline which forces you to stare death in the face. <laughs> Since you've borne that burden, I ought to fight you with my whole strength and spirit. To meet your passion, I will unbind my darkest arts. Kyrie, please, lend me your powers. Roger that, Commander. I'll give it everything. As you wish. More kindling for the Carnival of Carnage. Show me these darkest of arts, Oleg. Teach me what you mean. for me your past 
will always haunt you. I want you to live. Live on in my pain. Mere death is not your fate. I will remember these words forever, until my dying day. You there, Agnian. M me I said you were a rookie, a nobody. I take it all back. <gasps> You're strong, much stronger than, than I could ever. I... I... Oh. Mio, I need to ask you a favor. You want me to see him off, don't you? That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Perhaps now his soul will find some respite. Yeah. I hope so too. Please, allow me to thank you once again. If you hadn't backed me up today, who knows what could have happened. Teach, don't mention it. We did exactly what we had to. Kyrie, you acquitted yourself very well in battle. You've made true progress. Really? I... I was really useful to you. Yeah. I'm seeing you in a whole new light now, Kyrie. You're a credit to the Agnian forces. Wow. I'm so happy to hear you say that, Mio. Feeling a little dizzy now. Teach, I need to ask. Just who are you, exactly? The Kavesi soldier was calling you Oleg. That was a name that used to ring out in Agnes, too. A commander whose martial prowess was nigh unmatched. According to the official records, Oleg fell in battle many years ago. If what that soldier said was true, then you're... Tyon, it's wise of you to press me on this matter. But you must forgive me. I'm afraid... I cannot tell you any more about that name. Is that because we haven't earned your trust? No, it isn't that. It's something else. I am bound to a promise, an oath. An oath? To impart wisdom to those who will succeed us, to teach them of strength and the tenets of battle. That this humble wish should spark, we pledged never to divulge the secrets of the past. That's the oath that I took with Consul G. Consul G? The same Consul G that we took down? By way of that oath, Consul G gave me a new name and a new role as an educator. But why would you be forbidden from talking about the past? Because you see, I have no right to do so. However many words I expend talking about the past, they would be nothing more than a collection of empty excuses. I'd merely be setting down the burden of the past in the hope of being forgiven. So, the console strictly forbade it. I must preserve my oath as long as I draw breath. I see. But this must be a huge weight for you to carry. I mean... You can't share your worries or your troubles with anyone. Hmm. Teach. About the past. 
Are you also against us trying to find out about it? No. Of course, you are not bound by oath. Just as I have no right to divulge the past, I have no right to obstruct those seeking the truth either. If you want to uncover the past, that is a matter for you and you alone. Hey, sorry mate, I kind of lost the thread a bit there. Perhaps we can revisit that another time. It's getting on. The others must really be stewing in their juices about Kyrie. You're right. Let's get back and let them know she's safe. Roger that, Mule. Please, go ahead without me. I'll catch you up. I understand. I'm just gonna lie here and you can't stop me. Um, about that thing.
Let's keep things on a tight loop. Just part of the protocol, innit? 